kind of a little downtime right now. So, just, uh, I guess if you guys want to do like a QA thing right now on scope, that's fine. You can do that. 15 minute window where I can chill. Where I'm not working, giving myself a break. Today is Fuck Yeah Friday, so that's good. Psyched for Red Rocks in October? Of course. We haven't played there. And um, it's a legendary spot. Uh, what was your favorite album to write? This one so far. It's usually like the newest one. What's your middle name? Boyd. B O Y D. It's my dad's name. Um, going to any concerts this summer? Only the ones I'm playing. You tired of performing Time to Dance? No, I mean, you know, it's an older song, but it's not the same as the first time we played it, but no, I still enjoy just performing. Like Dunkin' Donuts? Yeah, it's fine. It's quick, easy, cheap coffee and donuts. Uh, where's your wife? She had to go run some errands, and uh, I locked myself away in the studio, and I am just now taking a break. Decided to play Detroit in September? Yes. Plan on going to Atlanta. Uh, not that I know of right now, but we go there quite a bit, so maybe. My favorite Panic song? Um, Alleluia. Excited for the album to come out? Of course. That's what I look for. You like J. Cole? Yeah, I do. A lot. Haunted as hell. Uh, favorite state? California, I guess, because I live here. I don't know. They've been good. You're tired of singing Iron Sins Not Tragedies? No, not really. Favorite Kendrick song? Um. Right now, it's between King Kunta and, uh, fuck, what is it, how does it go, uh, we gon' be all right? We go, I think it's called all right. <laughs> what do you think about feminists? Cool. Feminists. What you do in NYC? Well, <clears throat> the thing, uh, you always end up doing is drinking. Everybody there just drinks, it seems like, because they're miserable and stressed out, so they drink about 10 times as much as anyone else I've seen. I guess you should let everyone know if you've showered today. I have not showered today. No fucking time. I woke up, got some coffee, and I went right to work. I've seen La Miz live. I have not seen La Miz live, uh, but when I was younger, we taped the, I think, 10th anniversary Broadway show, and uh, I was... I was raised on that. Coffee. Um, just a little bit of half and half. A little bit of half and half. Just a little bit of half and half. Were you ever bullied? Oh, yeah. All the time. <clears throat> Middle school, I was uh, actually beat up before band class by um, this kid, John, and this other kid, Corey. Really good friends. And... Uh, me in a corner and beat me up in front of their girlfriends. <clears throat> so that was fun. Pronounced scone. Why did people bully you? Scone. Why did why did people bully you? Uh, why does anybody bully anyone? Because they um, don't fully understand that person, I guess, and they're either scared or jealous or feel threatened, um, or they're just dumb, which uh, I find is the case most of the time. Your Panic album, this one so far, the one that hasn't been released yet. You guys are gonna be way too excited about it. They were jealous. Yeah, maybe. <clears throat> well, they were a year older than me, and I beat one of the guys in jazz band. That's pretty bad. How did the bullies react to you getting famous? I don't know. I haven't fucking heard of them. Um, seen from them, talked to them at all. So I'm guessing they're, uh, you know. I'm guessing they're doing fine. I don't fucking know. Here. Like pizza? I love pizza. 
Favorite TV show? Um, <laughs> Family Guy, Archer, um, Breaking Bad. There's just way too many. I have too many favorites. Did you wear braces as a child? I did for about four and a half, almost five years. Yeah. You heard Coffee by Miguel? Yeah, it's a good song. Fucking in the morning. It's good shit. Sex, that's it's a fun subject. Uh, are you close with your family? I am very close with my family. Awesome. Favorite superhero? I don't really have one. We, um, when I was growing up, like, we collected, uh, my sister and my brothers collected comics and basketball cards, trading cards. So, um, I have a whole folder full of that stuff, um, that they just didn't take with them. They kind of grew out of it. So, I just have a bunch of that stuff. I have a, um, limited edition Wolverine comic that I'm sure someone would be stoked about. I think it's cool, but I never, like, freaked out about it. I don't know that much about it. Um, enjoy the Marvel movies. I think they're fucking awesome. Um, they're great. Yeah, I guess Yeah, I guess they're cool. I'll buy it from you? Nah. It's got sentimental value for me. You get good grades in school? Yeah, up until 10th grade. I got really good grades. I was an A, B student. Um, up until, yeah, like 10th grade, started, uh, not giving a shit. Really didn't give a fuck, and there was no way for me to fake it, give a shit, so. I was like, fuck it, almost completely ruined my high school career, but, um, good. Insert English. Sure, I did really well in English. Um, Alan was a straight A student. That's nice. Albert Einstein uh, failed science, so <laughs> not that. Do you have any weird hobbies as a kid? Hobbies? I like to just try a bunch of weird shit. Um, there was a whole summer where I just tried to perfect a pogo stick and stilts. My sister got stilts, and I got a pogo stick for Christmas. Uh, so I, I remember trying to like perfect a backflip on it and trying to do all that shit. <laughs> Rolled paper. I did, I still roll paper. Actually, I might have something in my, yeah, I've got a cigar wrapper right here that I rolled into a perfect little pulley. <sighs> Favorite Avenger. <laughs> Iron Man, I guess, because, uh, mostly just because Robert Downey Jr. is the shit. Um, favorite sitcom? Seinfeld, probably. Yeah, Seinfeld's fucking amazing. You ever smoke cigarettes? Oh, yeah. I used to. Stopped. Years ago. Like Capri Sun? I haven't had a Capri Sun in fucking years, maybe like more than half a decade. Whoa, really too fast. Favorite Powerpuff Girl? <laughs> Bubbles, why not? Look. I make breakfast, but I feel like anyone can make breakfast. It's the easiest food, in my opinion, to make. And that, because it's simple. Sure. Days off, usually, you know, in between all the stuff. Um, it goes days off, show, or show, days off, and uh, just the fact that you get to travel, be in a different city every day. <clears throat> weed is tight. Weed is tight. Weed is tight. Um, who would you love to work with? <sighs> I don't know. I probably haven't worked with them yet. I've worked with a, lo a lot of people, and um, I don't know. Favorite Kanye song? Either Can't Tell Me Nothing or, um, Graduation's my favorite album, so anything off of that, really. Good Life is fucking awesome. That beat is crazy. The fact that he sampled Michael Jackson, and it just sounds so cool. It sounds totally different. Work with Nate Roos again. Oh, I'd love to. He's fucking awesome. Love that dude. Uh, first CD you bought. Um... CD was either Green Day Dookie or um, 
Alanis Morissette Jagged Little Pill, which came out, I think, in like 95. I think it came out in 1995. I was eight years old. Yeah. You want to know how I met Brent in the beginning of the band? Um, I went to Palo Verde High School, and Brent went to Bishop Gorman, um, which was a private school, a little bit nicer, richer kids, and um, not, not that I'm saying that Brent was that kind of guy, but he, uh, he kind of got kicked out of that school, not kind of, I'm trying to like soften the blow, but he, he had to leave that school, came to Palo Verde, he was a new kid, and nobody, you know, he didn't know anybody, so he was in my guitar class, and I saw that he was wearing a Thrice shirt, and I was just that kid at that time, like, oh, I, you know, I just want to meet people, and I was pretty outgoing, so I approached him and said, um, I like your shirt, uh, do you want to hang out with me and this group of friends that I'm with right now, and just talk music and fiddle around on this acoustic, and just like, you know, shoot the shit? So we did, and then uh, after a little while, we became friends, and he asked if I wanted to um, try out to play guitar for their band. I was like, yeah, fuck it, you know, I'll just, I'll hang out with you guys. I'm not looking to be in a band, but I'll definitely, you know, hang out, it'd be fun to jam, and um, if you guys need me to play a show, cool, I'm down. So let's learn a couple of songs. Uh, and then, um, yeah, yeah, and then after that, yeah, then I became the singer after a couple of months of being in the band. Um, would you ever get a piercing? No, I got a, I pierced my lip when I was um, a senior in high school, and it stayed in for like a week. And then uh, I just didn't like it. I had to try it, though, because I'd always wanted to get a piercing. I didn't have any tattoos. I always wanted a tattoo, but couldn't get that. So just got a piercing, uh, pierced my lip right here. There still might be the scar. You can see it. Uh, not really. It kind of died out, but it was right here. And uh, it didn't look right with my big-ass lip right here because it got even fatter right here. So it didn't really look right. It wasn't my thing. What was your first tattoo? It was these, the piano keys. Without the flowers. I think I was 19 years old. How'd you meet Kenny? Uh, first time I met Kenny, we were at Butch's studio, and Jake uh, invited him down to just hang out, and we had a really good time. Um, if you guys want, I, gotta, I still have some time. I don't have to get back to work yet, so. You're asking me questions. Thanks for hanging out with me. Watching me sit around. <laughs> What was I just talking about? Probably wasn't important. We already answered the question, though. Um, oh, how I met Kenny. Yeah, so I, I finished that story, right? Yeah. Um, what else? Any other questions you guys have? Love to answer. Um, oh, I was talking about piercings. I was talking about just now, piercing my lip. Yeah, that was interesting. Favorite Queen song? Um, either Don't Stop Me Now or Bohemian Rhapsody. Do you want? Probably a portrait. Be Rich is phenomenal tattoo artist and uh, really good, just um, pro real photorealism. Uh, get a full sleeve. I do want to get a full sleeve on this arm and this one, so uh, I have a ways to go. It's so exciting because I still have a bunch of canvas that I can use. Um, Rolling Stones or Led Zeppelin? I mean both. I'm gonna decide between them. I love them. I love them both. Favorite Green Day song? Um, favorite Green Day song? I don't know. She was always a good one. I like that song, She. Tattoos? Not particularly. Um, oh, whoa, 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 what? Are you coming to Louisiana to tour? For, I mean, we don't have a tour yet, so if we come to Louisiana, it's just going to be a one-off show. How did I propose? Uh, it was less of a proposal, and I just told Sarah... Um, straight up said, I want to marry you. I really want to marry you. And that was it. I didn't really ask her if she wanted to. I just let her know my intentions, how I was feeling. And uh, that was that. I said, wow, I really, really, really want to marry you. 
Yeah, that was it. Favorite tattoo I have. Uh, no, I mean, my Frank Sinatra is one of my favorite ones. But each one is special to me because it reminds me of a certain time and certain place that I was at. Yearbook. How to become a singer. Uh, you just sing. You just sing. That's all you do. <laughs> and uh, if you really pursue it and have a passion for it, then you tend to improve upon that. How many siblings do you have? I have two brothers and two sisters. Um, I'm the youngest of five, so they're all older. Three years, six years, uh, eight years, and 11 years older than me. Um, <laughs> what's the vibe of the new album? Um, well, it's fucking really different. It's really crazy, uh, which isn't telling you much, but... I do a, I do a lot, I'm doing a lot of like crooning in it, which I really like because I was writing stuff on the piano, so it's more of a Sinatra vibe, but it doesn't sound like Sinatra because it's not just big band. There's, you know, I still love to do sequencing and production and putting in my own little beats and stuff, so it's a lot of that um, stuff that I've always done that I feel I'm improving upon, and uh, yeah, Sinatra, there's a lot of queen harmonies. I'm singing like three octaves above what I normally do for backups and stuff and some leads, and it's like Queen meets Sinatra meets Panic, if that makes sense. Do you see your parents often? As often as I can, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Any games on your phone? Yeah, I have a game called True Skate. It's not really a game. You just kind of skate around and flip a skateboard, and uh, I, because I don't really play games, so it's like uh, just a way to pass the time for five minutes while I'm taking a breather from work or whatever. Tell me your gamer tag. Well, I don't really play video games anymore. Um, I just started playing today uh, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, and that um, I haven't played that in months. It's been a while. I really had a lot of downtime. That takes a lot of downtime. It takes like hours to play a video game. To really, you know, you want to give yourself a couple hours to immerse yourself fully into the game. Ever played Flappy Bird? Yeah, I tried it. Uh, it wasn't my favorite. Favorite tea? Take voice lessons. Yeah, I did for a few months. Um, while the like right after we heard that we were getting signed, when Pete told us we he would sign us, I figured, oh shit, I should probably take some vocal lessons. So I got in, and we were going to tour really soon. So I um, asked the my teacher at that time. His name was Jeff Skousen to give me any tips because I heard that a lot of people had blown their voices out on tour and so I wanted to make sure that didn't happen so he didn't necessarily teach me how to sing he said alright do these warm ups and these lip buzzes and these exercises you know for 15 to 20 minutes before a show at least um, you know just so that you warm up your voice so you don't blow it out if you're going to be playing you know five shows a week uh, so that helped yeah I mean, it was really important and also cool downs after a show um, yeah. Uh, oh, 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 uh, favorite color? Favorite color? Um, cerulean, I guess? Blue? Just any bluish, greenish color? I tend to like those a lot. You know, the favorite color question used to, you know, I really thought about it in like elementary school, and then as I got older, I was like, who fucking cares? I didn't really give a shit. Um, what's the tattoo above the piano on my arm? You mean the flowers or the panic pee or the every time I die one? This guy, which um, I'm going to get some work done tomorrow from Rich. He's going to finish up some of it a little bit, but uh, yeah. Uh, did Haley introduce me to Sarah? No, she didn't introduce me. Um, first time I met Sarah, she came with a friend to one of our shows and I just, I wanted to, to make out with her so bad, but she had a boyfriend at the time, so I didn't. And then the second time was like eight months later, the second time I met her, 
uh, was because um, Newfound Glory was playing, so obviously Haley was there, and she brought Sarah with her. So the second time that I met Sarah again, you know, Haley was there with her. Go while you're getting your tattoo. I probably will. You know, I'm going to be sitting in a chair for four hours, so maybe more. What was your reaction when you got signed? Uh, I was like, fuck yeah, now I can do whatever I want. <laughs> I mean, I was 17 at the time, so that was really crazy. I remember telling my parents, and they're like, oh, that's cool. You know, we didn't really know what that meant. And they're like, oh, fuck it, you know, whatever. Um, and then as we were touring, they're like, oh, it's actually a real job, so. Ready for Leeds Fest? Of course. I hope so. What kind of car do I drive? I drive a Toyota Tacoma. Hey, guys, come here. Come here. It was a hard to finish school while touring. I didn't finish school while we were touring. I finished the last day of high school, convinced my teachers to pass me, even though I had like a 40% in some of my classes. I had a 23% in US government class, and that was fucking insane. But I told him to just pass me with like the like lowest possible score for a passable grade, and he did, and uh, I'm very grateful. Uh, Chad Klum, US government teacher, thank you very much for that. Shout out to Chad Klum. Um, yeah, I finished that, and then three days later we left to go to College Park, Maryland to make our first record. So, there you go. Game of Thrones, love Game of Thrones. Um, uh, what was your first guitar? My first guitar was this, uh, like, $100 baby traveling guitar, mountain guitar, it was called. Um... It was just baby size. I was like 11 years old. My parents got it for me for Christmas because I just, I was always playing their guitars for years and uh, they're like, well, we'll get you your own. So that was very cool. Whoa, 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 whoa. Cats or dogs? Dogs, for sure. But I just love animals anyways. You still wear girls' jeans? No. no. But no, uh, at the time I was wearing girls' jeans, it was only because no brand that I could afford at that time was making men's jeans the way that my body was formed. So I liked wearing tighter pants and no one was making that. So I had to get girls jeans to, cause they just fit better. Um, the guys jeans were just fucking baggy and you look like a piece of shit. I was like, I'm not going to wear that shit. So you turned me emo. No, I didn't. You turned yourself emo. Um, basically you were a tiny twig not really I, mean, I was a little dude I was fairly skinny but no when did you start your emo phase in high school start to like junior year and then it like senior year and emo was funny <laughs> I was like oh that's kind of fun all my friends are into this thing called emo, but it was really just going to hardcore shows and shit, so. Remember getting bourbon-faced on Shit Street? Yeah, I got shit-faced on Bourbon Street. For, yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure I did. Oh my god, I got hammered. I had some hot sauce and uh, almost threw up, and that was a good time. It got crazy. Um, why is the band's name Panic at the Disco? Because that's what we called it. Scariest tour mo moment. Um... Tour moment. We've been in a couple storms. We played at a festival called Pukul Pop in Belgium. Hey, 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 come on, come on, hey, come on, come on, guys, Penny, come here. Um, yeah, we played a festival called Pukul Pop, and a fucking storm happened. Um, a few people ended up dying, which was very scary, very sad, and. Um, yeah, we, uh, that was the day, I, I remember it was very, um, it's very scary, because, uh, some, some of us, some of my friends, and us, uh, very close, very close to the end of our lives, um, so thank goodness that didn't happen, uh, <clears throat> have you tried Candy Crush? Of course, of course I have, how much did you drink when you did History of Fall Out Boy? Uh, I don't, I don't want to say that, because then... You, some of you are going to want to try to beat that. I don't want you to. 
remember drunk history? Not at all. Mm. Oh, whoa, whoa. Do you have any baby pics of yourself? Yeah, I have a few. Scrapbook in the office room. Why did you name Bogart? I mean, why did I name him Bogart? Uh... Well, Humphrey Bogart is a famous actor that I was a fan of, all his movies. Um, Serena and Casablanca. Also because the uh, saying was, don't Bogart that joint, and uh, I was really stoned. <laughs> sing an E-flat. I can't. I don't have perfect pitch. I can play it on the piano and then sing it. I have relative pitch, but... Um, Mom thinks you're cool. Oh, that's sweet. Damn it, Brendan, say my name. Well, you didn't write it there, so I can't say it, dum dum. You ever want to act? I mean, sure, I guess. If somebody wants me to. What level you reached on Candy Crush? Uh, like 6.30 something. Me and uh, my buddy Tony, who was also our tour manager, for a lot of years, um, we were competing to see who could get further. He got further than me, and then it took me a month to catch up. So, like a month later, I reached like 6.30 something, and uh, myself, wasting that much time. Um, whoa, 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 I was going faster. Favorite female singer? Oh, fuck, I don't know. Any. Favorite song ever? That's too tough. I don't know. My name is Micah. Oh, okay, that's your name? Hello, Micah. Um, favorite T-Swift song? Probably, uh, We're Never Getting Back Together. I just think it's really well produced. Good job, Max Martin. Um, is it weird that your periscopes literally make my shit days the best days? No, that's very sweet, you know. You should, um... I'm sure you do way more fun stuff than just watching me sit on my couch, but I appreciate that. What would you consider your biggest life achievement? I don't think that it's happened yet. I think, uh, you know, something more could be on the way. Who knows? Um, but I've, I've done some things that I'm incredibly proud of that I can't believe I've done. I can use. Uh... First impressions of Zach. Um, I was like, who is this fucking degenerate? This guy looks like a prisoner. <laughs> I still think that. Um, do you ever stalk us on social media? Us? Like, you mean the fans? No, I don't stalk you guys. That's your job. <laughs> you stalk everyone else. <laughs> no, I don't stalk you guys. I read your comments sometimes when you mention me in my, in my Twitter timeline into the shower oh yeah if you're talking about us like quote unquote trashing a dressing room yeah that happened nice uh, an easy cleanup just run the shower pick up the fruit whoa 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 Questions. Let's see. Uh, why'd you stop making vines? Um, I just got bored of it. You know, that's really the honest answer. I stopped going on originally because it just became this like shitty. It just became shitty, and then I just uh, lost interest. <laughs> you look stoned as fuck. Well, I'm not stoned as fuck. Say my name, please. Angel? Angel? I don't know how you say that. Snapchat. I, I opened one, but um, I gave it up to some interns. Uh, I was like, yeah, I don't know how to work this thing. Uh, and it was also getting weird because I was getting nudes from fans, so I closed it out. 
Sarah. She's running errands, and she should be back any moment. Spaghetti? Yeah, I mean, it's a fucking, you know, it's pasta and a sauce, of course. Um, favorite Disney movie? Hmm. Up or... Aladdin? I don't know. Hey, puppies, come on. <laughs> puppies. Come here, guys. <laughs> You're attacking you? Puppies, come here. Come here, guys. Come on. <laughs> I just want to jump. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, she did? Penny, come on. Hey, Penny, get a baby. Go get a baby. Go get a baby. Come on, get a baby. Look, okay. look, look. So we stole the glass. Oh, okay, cool.